Okay, so welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking again about transition metals. So we've got two nickel complexes. One is paramagnetic, which has chlorides attached to it, and the other is diamagnetic, which has CN um, cyano groups attached to it. Now the question that we're trying to answer is which one is square planar and which one is tetrahedral. So remember, let's start by drawing out the square planar and tetrahedral um, field diagrams. And then we will work out the, the um, number of electrons that will be filling into those orbitals, so the nickel. Okay, so this is my square planar. And this is my tetrahedral. Now, when I fill up my square planar, it's low spin, so I've got to fill up every um, orbital before I move to the next energy. Okay, so completely fill the first two, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. Now, the tetrahedral, we've got the E set at the bottom and the T2 in the higher energy. The gap's really small, so we put one in all the E's, all the T2s, and then we start doubling up. Now, to work out how many electrons we're going to be assigning, firstly, we want to look at what is the charge on nickel? So nickel is a 4s2 3d8 um, element. So let's work out the charge here. So we'll start with this one. So we've got four minuses. So we've got four minus, we've got two minus overall. So therefore nickel must be a plus two. Uh, Cn is a minus as well. So we've got four minus, we've got minus two, so this one must be a plus two. So they're both plus two nickels. So nickel plus two would give us, we would take away those 4s and we would be left with 3d8. So we're assigning 8d electrons. So if we start here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're all paired. Now look at the tetrahedral, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So remember we fill them all one. So what have I got? Five, sorry, six, seven, eight. So we've got two unpaired and here we have no unpaired. So we've got paramagnetic and diamagnetic. So diamagnetic is when they're all in pairs. So there's di, there's two of them, they're all paired. So this is indicating that this complex here would be square planar. And paramagnetic is when we have one unpaired electron which can then align with a magnetic field. And so therefore, we have unpaired electrons in the tetrahedral. So the nickel chloride complex is paramagnetic and therefore a tetrahedral arrangement. And the nickel with the cyanide uh, groups, cyano groups, a diamagnetic and square planar.